Good morning, good morning, you guys. This is the Guru back again for another news cryptocurrency new a uh, cryptocurrency news update. I probably go hit y'all with two or three videos a day. You know when I when I feel it, when I feel it, I get the rocking. But today I'm just going over. Actually, let me write this down while I got it in my mind. How? Is the Russian Ukraine war or conflict has has the Russian Ukraine crisis affecting crypto? I get one good title, and then I forget it. But uh, let's get into it. Let's see what is the Russian Ukraine crisis doing to the worldwide crypto markets. First article right here, we're on, we on the Outlook India, outlookindia.com. Basically, it's saying everything that I'm bringing to you is readily available on the internet. This is all out there for anyone to look at, anyone to find. So, it's just, uh, you know, nothing special. Just You have to just do your research. I'm saving you the time and effort of the research. Crypto market affected due to Russian Ukraine crisis. Prices of Bitcoin Shibu Inu fall as Russia launched a special military operation against Ukraine. The crypto markets plunged down. The price of Bitcoin fell 8.12 percent in the last 24 hours and uh, down 13.28 percent. What date was this? This was uh, yeah, February 28th. Okay, yeah, so that's the day. The Russia Ukraine war has impacted uh, into the crypto market. Global market cap slid as low as 1.557 trillion, losing almost 9.6% in the last 24 hours. It's expected that the Russia may use cryptocurrency to blunt the impact of sanctions. Ooh, Russia might be putting a lot of money into crypto. I don't know whether it's positive or um, you know what? That could be negative though, because yeah, it'll pump the price up, but U.S. is going to go with harder rules on crypto to stop the Russians. So that's going to make it harder on us. So, yeah, that's bad. Hope they don't put their money in crypto. Go to gold or something. Okay, the, uh, Bitcoin was down. So that's basically it. Me, uh, okay, so we got the rise of digital assets. Okay, so this is just, just regular news. The next article I'm going to go over right now is going to be right here from Fortune.com. Russian Invasion. Of Ukraine spotlights the urgent need for crypto policy. Oh, here they go. Look, these are the more people that already got the money. Talking about is is it spotlighting the urgent need for crypto policy? See, here we go. They're trying to use this to come down harder on crypto, saying that the Russians go put all their money in crypto to avoid the sanctions. See, they always got some stuff. For the vast majority of is crypto a high-risk investment, a shiny new toy, tech toy, the future of money, a pyramid scheme? Russia's nascent war against Ukraine, however, showed that it's time for the public at large, crypto advocates, and the federal government to hold much deeper conversations about the role of digital currency in our economic future. Huh, As the U.S. and NATO allies prepared to launch stiffer sanctions against Russia for its attack on a sovereign nation, which could include cutting off assets to the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial, Fe federal, global, and commercial officials have said other foreign foes of the U.S., including Iran and North Korea, have already turned to digital currency to raise capital following sanctions. See, they get ready to use this as an excuse to put harder penalties on, on it. United States in particular is United States in particular is able to use sanctions as a diplomat too because the dollar is the world reserve currency and is used in payments worldwide. Russia needs Russia's need for crypto related revenue might also be lessened if the European Union opposes any of the Federation SWIFT assets. That's uh, the people that process, you know, with the banks and stuff. But Russia potentially but Russia's potential ability to circumvent sanctions through crypto speaks to a larger concern about the ability of foreign adversaries to devalue the dollar via existing and future digital currencies, thereby reducing America's influence over global order. See, look, that's the whole thing right there. America's influence over global order. 
that's why, you know, they go always fight crypto at the time when the U.S. lacks the political. Okay, so that's that. So, you know, they, they, if, they, if they lose the dollar, they lose control. Cryptocurrencies fall after Russia invades Ukraine. This is from the Brothers. Brothers. Oh, this is February 24th, so there's a couple of days old. So, ain't, ain't nothing new in there. And let's go to the last one. Okay, did that look like, uh, is that like the first one? Okay, here we go. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies plummet after Russia launches military strikes. Bitcoin slumped to a one month low on Thursday after Russian forces. So this is the old news right here. This is a little bit old news right there. So let's see what else is going on. Has the ISS become a new front for Russia? Russia's central bank scrambles to deal with sanctions. Oh, Elon Musk moves uh, Starlight satellites over Russia. Okay, Elon Musk deploys SpaceX Starlink internet satellites over Ukraine after request from Vice President. Oh, okay, so Elon Musk is helping the Ukrainians still have internet service. I guess the, the Russians are going to knock out the regular internet, so now they can have the satellite internet. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, so they can still communicate with each other. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay, I think that's about it for today. I just wanted to go over that, let you guys see how, you know, it was crypto was being affected. So, this is just a little quick news update. Crypto coin. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let me let me check this real quick. Crypto coin. While I'm here, I might as well check this out. Yeah, Bitcoin, Shibu in you. Why is Shibu? Why are they specify Shibu in you specifically under pressure? Is the, the do the Russians have a large play in Shibu in Shibu? I'm gonna just say Shibu. Let's just say that. See, they they saying this is a second article I've seen that specify Shib. Bitcoin, why is SHIB even, they didn't say Bitcoin, Ethereum, they said Bitcoin is SHIB, so this is making me think, see right here, Dogecoin, SHIB, so this is making me think that Russia might have a big play in, in SHIB, so I'm going to have to do some more investigation on that, you guys, I'll bring you another video on that, but why are they specifying SHIB in there, you know, for some reason, so, but other than that, though, this is the Guru, quick news, update. I'm going to see you guys on the next video, which should be today.